Okay, so our next exercise is to see if we can generate, um, now that you guys know how to make a graph, how we, if we can generate something that's more useful in terms of our analysis and, and comparison. Okay? So the first step is to try to generate a plot with several things on it. So again, have a look at here. Don't, don't start yet. But what um, I'm showing you here is our data, or again, are, are in progress, so it's not totally correct, but this is the most recent data from this year, or excuse me, Sorry, this stuff is all correct. All these dots over here, this guy is the one that is, right, we're still adjusting that, getting more data this year. So if we have a look at it, we have our, our x-axis here, which is the year of, that the survey was conducted. This is, our, this is our opinion poll data. And this is the proportion of respondents that uh, responded um, to whatever the question was. In this case, the question was our, our one about climate change, that, you know, is climate change a, a threat that we should take seriously, right? So our data here are in red, and how do you know that's our data? Well, there's a legend over here, which is a little bit ugly. I didn't work too much on the legend. But also, if I just hover over here, it says, ah, CSUCI. That's cool. If I hover over this, this says PPIC. That's a California Public Opinion um, Poll Survey. And in fact, what we did for our climate change question, we actually copied the same exact wording that those guys used. So our question that's asked is exactly the same as, so the red uh, inquiry is, is the same exact wording, et cetera, as the orange wording here on this graph. Uh, I should also say that PPIC is a California-based survey. This is for the state of California. Uh, then as we go to other surveys, it's not always exactly the same. So, so the wordings are slightly different and, and you know, so there, there comes as a, another source of introduction of error, potentially, right? But nevertheless, at least general, we're interested here in this context is how is stuff changing over time? Are these, are these values roughly similar to one another? Are they radically different? Or are they going up and down in generally similar ways? So we have all these different op public opinion polls. So, uh, th so the, these, the orange and red are the most, uh, tightly associated, both geographically and uh, with the instrument itself. And then as we go on, there's, there's different variants. So, um, and there's lots of other data. So some of these, like let's look at this one. This is the NBC Wall Street Journal poll. They don't do theirs every, they don't ask their question every year, right? They're, they're doing polling all the time, but it's not perhaps relevant to our particular question right here. And so in that case, they only have one, they did it in 2009, they did it in 2014, they did it uh, this year. Um, and, and then others are more consistent, such as uh, this one, which is the Gallup uh, opinion poll organization. So those guys are asking it much uh, every year kind of thing. Um, so there you go. So we have, we have our axes, axes are labeled. We have the values in there and we can start to look at, at uh, trends over time. So I wanna see if you guys can generate this figure. Now first, before you do that, let me show you where the data is. So if you go to our shared folder, well, the data for me is up here, but for you guys, the data is gonna be in our shared folder. It's in all the stuff for this stuff that we're doing the next couple days is in this graphing exercise references. So if I click that open, Whole data in progress, and then have a look. There's an Excel version of the data, and that, that's a little richer. That has some extra stuff in there if you guys want to find the references where I grab the data from, et cetera. But you don't need that. All you really need is this CSV, which is just the, the, the raw data ready to be imported. So, you, so this is what I want you guys to do this next step. I want you to go to this site. You might have to first download it to the desktop. But, but get that comma separated file. You want to do the option to import the data. Once you get it in there, make sure it worked right. Sometimes there's little, there's internet gremlins that mess with it. Make sure it's okay. And then start to graph. So, so the, the trick here is going to be, you're going to make a scatter plot, okay, of say CSUCI. And then you got to go back to create and you'll see the option to add another so-called trace 
and then another one and another one. So you're going you're gonna to layer on all these different things and that will give you full control of all the colors on all the things. If you add them all at once, you, you don't necessarily have all the, it's a little bit more complicated to manipulate things. So you're going to want to add on data set one and then add in data set two and three and four, etc. Cool? So your goal is to make a graph that looks like this.